So I have mentioned it before that sometimes English just does it better. And I am talking about these, the Evolutions VMAX collection boxes. Oh my, these are a beautiful product. If you wanted these two specific cards right here in Japanese, which I do still want, but they are a little bit out of my reach at the moment. These came in Evil Hero set that came out in Japan in 2021. A beautiful set, couldn't get enough of it. Could open more if I could. Secret rare chance to get in here, one per box. This, however, the VMAXs, well, they are much more difficult to get on the, in the Japanese market. You're looking at around a grand at the moment. I will need to double check that, but they are very, very pricey boys. You got them via a lottery system, and I think there was only a thousand copies that were released. English, however, just stuck them in boxes. I love boxes. Boxes are great. Yeah, these, these particular boxes, well, they come with quite a lot of things. You get the pin, so each of them come with their own pin. The alternate art cards, V and the VMAX, and the VMAXs are insane. And you also get a jumbo version of the VMAX, and you get a bunch of packs. Yeah, these, these boxes are really, really very, very good. I couldn't ask, <laughs> ask for better. Oh, look at that. They say it's right here. Uh, two promo cards, an oversized card boosters, and a pin. I have all three, and I'm going to be opening all three, but I am almost sad, almost sad to be opening them because they are so very beautiful. Right? Well, obviously we're going to go with the Flareon first. Oh, <laughs> this, this does hurt. Oh, no. Oh, oh, it's not opening easily either. It's just making it even more painful. Give me. Right, we're not messing around here. Just open. Good lord. Right, plastic, my favourite. Plastic. Oh, more plastic and plastic. Gosh, this is loud. I need to get these out at the back. Okay, those are those. And here we are. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is stunning. Okacheke's Flareon VMAX. There he is, just prancing through a field, over the field, and there's a executor, egg, executor, oh my goodness, executor, 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 there we go. <laughs> I remembered how to say that Pokemon's name. Not sure what that one is. What is that? Is that a slowpoke? Don't know. Anyway, <laughs> there's a happy Flareon, and this is one of my favourite, probably actually just behind the Sylveon VMAX, my favourite alternate art from Eevee Heroes. Little Flareon, all cosy by the fire. It's so cute. I absolutely adore it. And you you get them in, in these boxes, as if the normal one... Well, wasn't enough. Now you also get an oversized one. Through this oversized one, I am pretty sure that is a slowpoke. That does look like a slowpoke. But that is pretty cool. I mean, that is amazing. And it's textured as well. And super, super sparkly. And then the pins. Flareon pin. And five packs. Enjoy. And I nearly forgot to mention what tea I am drinking. I have decided to go with pure white tea <laughs> today. It is a very, very soft, very light tea. Mmm. Yeah, there's, there's hardly any flavor to it. So if you're looking just something hot and warm to drink without it tasting like hot water, it's just got a little, a little something to it. This white tea is really very nice. Okay, I haven't opened, what was that? That was Fusion Strike. <laughs> I opened Fusion Strike without even looking. Okay, Stantler and an Absol. Yep, not much there. Oh, that smell though. Oh, that's, that's got a good new pack smell. Oh, that's got a good new pack smell. Right, what have we got? Evolving Skies, Rebel Clash, another Fusion Strike for Vivaldi. Right, let's go Fusion Strike. Code card. Okay, I haven't opened up much Fusion Strike. I've opened up a little bit. Not much though, because, you know, English does disappoint me quite a lot. A Morgrem and a Zero Aura. Not much in those. Rebel Clash. That opened really easily. That was weird code card. Okay, Rebel Clash, let's see what you have. Oh, that's cute. I like that little Snova. You never thought it- oh, that is really nice art. Who's that by? I never thought I'd like a Pidov art so much, but here we are. We're all here for new things, and I'm here to try the right trade cloak and a- uh, an unpheasant. Three for three duds. Not surprising. 
Right, Viva Voltage. Here's, there's a code card. A rainbow Pikachu would be good. <laughs> uh, that, that would be incredible. Could you imagine if I pulled a rainbow Pikachu here? Right, Sableye, or I could just pull a, a non-hollow Binet. Wow, okay, English. You're doing the English things and yep, these boxes don't seem to be good for hits. I think they give you the alternate art cards and like, there you go. That's it, really. All right, pack card. Evolving Skies. If I was going to hit an alternate art, this this pack would be the one that I'd want to hit it in. Am I going to hit anything? No. That is five for five duds. That is, uh, that is typical, to be honest. That is English doing English things. Next, we have the absolutely playful boy running around in the lightning, Jolteon and the Jolteon VMAX box. Oh, again, so sad to open. These are such good looking boxes. Oh, you know I love plastic just so much. Come on. There we go. Look at these two. Absolutely just incredible. I, I can't, I still can't get over these boxes. These evolution boxes are one of the best things that English has done. Hands down, alternate arts Jolteon running through the city. Look at those colors. It's just, it's beautiful. This alternate VMAX Jolteon card sparkles beautifully in the light. There he is just playing with lightning in front of people's houses and probably getting them killed with no concern. He doesn't care. He's having fun with lightning. He's going to cause power cuts. I think he has just to there by the looks of it hit some sort of tower. You don't care. He's a giant ass Pokemon. He's gonna do what he wants. And the jumbo version, just in case the small one wasn't enough. There's the big one. The pin. Just put that right there. And the code card. Enjoy. Do the same order as last time. For consistency, we do like being consistent here. And probably also going to get consistently bad hits, right? <laughs> there you go. There's a code card. Okay. Oh. Lucario V, a V, we take anything. We take anything after those five packs that were complete duds. Well, I'll take a V. Enjoy the code. Oh, I do like that Galarian Obstagoon art. And okay, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, um, thanks. Well, a V and a hollow is significantly better than what we had last time. Code card. All right, Skirskit and a Probo Pass with his moustache, Nigel Thornbury looking Pokemon right there. Mashing. All right, Vivid Voltage. Code card. Drone and a Dialga. Okay, another holographic. I mean, I'll, I'll take a holographic. All right, Evolving Skies. A Duraludon. Raihan would be nice. Code card. And no, no, you're, you're not going to get, not going to get anything. Well, uh, a V and two hollows is better than nothing. Like the last box. Here we go, the Vaporeon VMAX Premium Collection box. Overall has to be my favorite one. Oh, this box is beautiful. Please. Oh, still so sad. Oh, it hurts. It hurts so much to open this. Classic. Classic. Alternate arts. Oh, plastic. What the? <gasps> they gave me two. I got two. <laughs> what was? Okay. Okay. I'll take two. Wow. Okay. I got quite a good little box error there. I just got. Yeah. I got two. <laughs> two alternate art V Vaporeons. Yeah. Fair enough. Thanks. Thanks, box. Wow. That really makes up for the first box giving me no hits. <laughs> oh, v Vaporeon alternate art V number. Number one, that is beautiful. He's laying in a pool of water there and he's like petting the reflection of the moon and the way that the, like the the leaves from a tree above are like dangling down and they're like pink, absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, there's the other one that I just got in the box because the box wanted to give me two. Thank you. <laughs> and, and a VMAX alternate art of the Vaporeon with all of these different Pokemon in the background, the Militics, Horsies, Wishy Washies, those jellyfish Pokemon, I I can't remember what they're called. I can see Feebas as well. Look at it. Look at it. Look, look. Just look at it. Like I'm gonna do a slow pan. Just a slow pan. Look at that. Look at that card. Oh, 
that these boxes are so good and it and it gave me two so i still can't believe it gave me two what the heck and the jumbo version of the v max alternate art so you can see all of the details a lot easier you can see all the wishy washies the militics the mantines and mantike it's a beautiful beautiful card and i do like the little details where they show like the dynamax beam in the background it's a gorgeous card and of course the pin as well the vaporeon pin code card enjoy and uh plastic that was a good noise mm. quite like that white tea actually it's quite nice all right fusion strike Let's see what, <laughs> what i'm gonna get out of here code card and oh Oh, that's a very good box, isn't it? <laughs> that is a very good box. It's given me the alternate art greed and fee. Look at that squirrel. Look at him. That fat, greedy little shit. Look at him. He's sitting on a tree and making the squovets like pull him along. And he's like having the grandest of times eating those berries while his little friends like this one. He seems to be happy. This one's having a snack. That one is very, very grumpy. He is not happy at all. Um, Neither is that one. He's getting a bit squashed. But that, that one too is having 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 a lot of fun. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Okay. Okay, English. I see you. That is that is a lot of alternate arts that I am now collecting. Okay. Another pack of <laughs> fusion strike. Here we go. Code card. A clam pearl and a maractus. Is that how you pronounce that? The bunny cactus. All right, Rebel Clash code card. Rebel Clash I think is quite an uninspiring set. I remember back when I was first getting back into modern and yeah Rebel Clash wasn't the uh the most sought after set. Take a holo though. Take a holographic. Viva Voltage. Code card. I think I saw this actually suffering from bad cuts at the back. I just saw quite a few like <laughs> badly cut cards and I remember the reprint from Viva Voltage was cut quite badly. Yeah you can see just down here it's yeah the cuts are not that great. Last pack Evolving Skies. Code card. A So So Ludicolo and a Talonflame. The hit from the boxes. Pretty good. A Greedent V. And then that Lucario V. It's okay. I mean, that Greedent V really did save those boxes when it came to hit. But the fact we got two, two V Vaporeons and all of these alternate arts. <sighs> Look at them. Look at these. Look at that spread. Look at that spread. Just look at that. I am looking and I can't stop looking. These boxes are insane. I, just so you know, I did not pay scalper prices. I did not get them from eBay. I was very, very lucky and managed to get these at retail from an online store. That was a very good time. I had a good time right there.